I'm Nick with Nestor's and today we're going to mount a 43 inch television on the wall. So today we're going to mount a 43 inch Samson television. The mount that we're going to be using we got off Amazon and we'll link to this below if you're interested but it's dream mounting and it's basically a universal TV mount that is relatively inexpensive. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. What we want to do first is get the hardware needed to attach the back of our television. This way we'll be able to measure um, a proper distance from the TV cabinet that we're going to be putting below. And usually you want to be about eight inches above that. So it's important to install the hardware on the back of the television first, and then we can mark everything out on the wall. All right, so now that we have the packaging open, Basically what we want to do is identify <clears throat> the plate that's going to be able to detach off your main arm so that we can mount it to the back of the television. So it looks like we're going to need to use our Allen wrench. And there you go. I'm going to put this aside for later. All right, so this is great news. We're not gonna have to use the extension pieces on this particular model, and we'll also link to the TV as well, so if you guys wanna match up this, you can. But since we don't need this, I'm gonna go ahead and put these aside. These are just for a larger television if you have those. Now, our main bracket actually lines up perfectly with these four corners right here and these four main holes. Now most of these TV kits come with a whole bunch of different types of screws and bolts. You're going to want to find which one matches up with your particular TV. Now since this is a universal kit, there's going to be a couple different options, but you should be able to figure it out pretty quickly. If not, there should be instructions provided that will help identify what those are as well. Okay, so I found the proper screws. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this to the side for right now, and I'm going to grab my Phillips head and just screw the plate on the back of the television. Okay, now that the plate is secure on the back of the television, we can start measuring out the wall so that we can put the mount on the wall itself. Now, rule of thumbs, you're going to want to put the television about eight inches above any piece of furniture that you have below on the wall. Right now we have a 36 inch dresser that we're using in the space. So I'm going to go ahead and measure eight inches up from that and mark it out and we'll go from there. So in order to mark this out, I want to find the center of the wall. So first I'm going to measure the length of this wall and divide that by two. Okay, now I want to take the height of the TV stand slash dresser that we're going to be having in front of the television, which is 36 inches. Then I want to mark the 8 inches of space I want above the dresser. And then I want to mark the 7 and a quarter inches up to the back of the TV where the mount is secured in place. All right. And that's our spot. All right, so this, this mounting kit actually came with a level, which is great. Not all of them do. Um, I would also just, if you have a good level, just use the good level, but I can get, use this to get us started. The mark that I made on the wall is gonna be the bottom hole of the mount.
Most televisions that you're going to buy today in stores are a lot lighter than your older televisions. So really just using two of the holes in here is going to be more than enough to help hold a television on the wall, especially if you're drilling into a stud or using a toggle bolt in the drywall. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. But before I get started, I want to just grab my large level and just make sure that we are indeed level. Okay, so now I grab my drill. I'm gonna do two pilot holes just to see if we're drilling into a stud or if we're gonna be drilling into the drywall itself. Okay, I didn't feel a stud, so that means we're working with the drywall. So that means we're gonna be using toggle bolts. These toggle bolts are a quarter inch toggle bolts and that just means they're heavy duty screws that are going to go right into this metal plate. Now you're going to have to drill a half inch hole into the wall and then these are going to slide right in and then flatten out on the back side of the wall at which point the screw will then screw into the wall and sandwich it into, into place. Right now, these are rated at 265 pounds in drywall. So one would be enough to hold this television, um, but we're gonna do two, just to be on the safe side. So I got my half inch drill bit. As you can see, they just slide right in and this temporarily secures it before you put the screw in. And they're just gonna break off the plastic tips. All right. Okay, now that the bracket is secure on the wall, we're pretty much done. I just need to grab the television and put it back on the mount. So two quick tips. One, if your screws that you're using may not always be large toggle bolts, you may need to use a washer with, which comes with in the kit itself. And in this case, I didn't need to, so no worries. Also, I'd use a screwdriver over a drill just because you have a little bit more control. You could start it out by using um, a, a drill, but a lot of times with these toggle bolts, you're, the, it's being held with a piece of plastic in the back, so you don't want to put too much torque on it, or you might screw up the toggle itself. This just gives you a little bit more control, and you're also less likely to strip the screw. Okay, now that the TV is just hanging on the hook, I'm going to take the two screws that we took out with the Allen wrench and I'm going to re-secure it. This way it'll be locked in. So that wraps up our TV mount install. Thanks for watching. If you thought this was helpful, please give that
click that thumbs up button and subscribe. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're gonna get notified every time we come out with a new video and you'll get to see me either hurt myself or hopefully give you some interesting tips on how to improve your home. Thanks for joining.